and welcome to Field Margin, learning the basics. Using Field Health for remote crop monitoring. Field Health on Field Margin gives you access to regularly updated satellite imagery with NDVI analysis. You can use this to identify variation in crops by highlighting areas that are doing better or worse than the rest of the field, which will allow you to save time scouting. You can also use it to measure problem areas, compare performance over time so you can see if treatments are working, and estimate pasture availability. In this video, I will give a short explanation of what NDVI imagery is and how to interpret it, show you how to access field health maps on field margin, and then talk you through an example of identifying crop variation from space. Field Health is available as part of the Field Margin Pro plan. Interpreting NDVI imagery. NDVI stands for Normalized Difference Vegetation Index and shows an estimate of vegetation cover. It is convenient for tracking the growth rate of plants and monitoring any changes to them. On Field Margin, we use a scale from red to green to visualize this. Red indicates bare earth and dark green indicates high levels of vegetation. The colours in between, from orange through yellow to light green, show increasing amounts of green plant matter. NDVI only generates positive values from green plant matter, so dead or dying plants such as deciduous trees with dead leaves or senescing crops will appear as orange or even red. Accessing Field Health. To access Field Health, go to the Maps section on the app. This is in the left nav on web and in the hamburger menu on the Android and iOS apps. The first thing you will see is a calendar with the dates that we have available imagery. The frequency that you get new imagery for your fields is determined by when a satellite passes over your farm. This is usually about every four days and the level of cloud on that date. The colours on each available date are an estimate of the percentage of cloud cover for that date. Red indicates that there is more cloud and green that there should be good coverage. However, this analysis is done based on the whole picture from the satellite, which covers a much larger area than just your farm, so you may find that a date with high cloud cover is not obscured for your fields. As well as NDVI, you can choose to display imagery in RGB, which is close to true colour. Viewing imagery in RGB can help you interpret NDVI when you are not sure what is going on. For example, in this NDVI image, we can see large areas of red in a field where we would expect to find crops. If we look at this with RGB, we can see that these areas have large areas of white, which is cloud cover. The satellite imagery that we use has a resolution of 5 to 10 metres. This will not show you fine detail, but will be sufficient for you to see patterns and identify areas that are doing better or worse within a field. Now you are ready to start using field health to identify variation and problems in your crops from space. One of the most effective ways of using field health is to identify areas that you need to investigate when scouting. This can save lots of time and avoids missing issues as you know where the problems or irregularities are and can go straight to them. You can do this by using the web app to mark areas to investigate before you go out or by viewing the imagery when you are in the field. For this video, we will look at imagery on the web app. To start off, we are looking at some imagery from April. In these fields, we have oilseed rape or canola with the yellow border, spring beans with the green border and spring barley with the orange border. Our spring crops aren't doing much yet because they were drilled late, so all those fields are red. But the oilseed rape is well on its way to being established and is almost completely green. However, there are some red patches across the middle. What could be causing this? If we switch to a contour map, 
we can see that those areas with red patches where there is poor emergence are at the top of a slope where water has run off and the nutrients have been leached away. There is another small patch of yellowy red down here in the southeast. From our notes, we can see that this is an area where we had extensive water logging, which led to more severe pigeon damage because of the lower crop density. Moving forward to June, we can see that the oilseed rape is beginning to senesce, so that field is turning yellowy orange, and our spring crops are well on the way to establishment. We can look at imagery from two dates side by side by clicking on this Compare to Maps button. Here we have the imagery from June and the imagery from May that we were just looking at. Looking at the two dates side by side, we can see that that problem area on the ridge has mostly filled in, but still has patches where it is much further behind than the rest of the field. Looking at the rest of the spring crops, it's easy to see where there are problems that need investigation. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions about anything in this video, or need help getting set up with Field Margin, you can get in touch with us at support at fieldmargin.com and we will be very happy to help you.